Hello folks and welcome to this short video tutorial in which I want to demonstrate you how to create your own um, SCAM components. So let's assume the system here which has started modeling and let's say we want to have here one generator and here we want to have a voltage and a current sensor. As you have recognized we don't have these components here in the toolbox so we simply use the general element SCAM component place it here, call it generator ok, this is our generator same thing we do for the voltage sensor and the current sensor ok just resize them a little bit ok Now we say the voltage sensor and the current center and sensor and the generator are connected by an electric connection to the uh, substation feeder. And we have some ICT connections here. Um, here to the IED and here to the um, DER controller. Um, what we want to have now is we want to have some more speaking um, images for these elements. So we simply switch to, mm, let's say, I take PowerPoint here. Here I prepared some symbols I want to have. So I simply copy my generator to the clipboard. And here I can say right click, appearance, apply image from clipboard. And here I have my generator image. Same thing I can do for the voltage sensor. Here we have our voltage sensor. Uh, appearance, apply image from clipboard. Um, what I also can do to make my life more easy is I can save these images. Let's say the current sensor. I save this image. I say save as image. Um, there are different formats possible. Um, I choose to save it as um, extended meta file. Let's say this is my current sensor. The image, okay. Save it. Then we go back to Enterprise Architect. And here I can say uh, appearance, select alternate image. Now I can add a new one. I say add new. I just um, search for my current sensor, which I created. It's somewhere here. Current sensor, okay. I'll let call it current sensor. Okay. And here we have our current sensor in the library. So I always can uh, now select this one from the library if I want to use the image. So whenever I have a component, well, um, I can go to the library and say use this image. This is a very fast way to switch the, um, the images for the elements. A little bit more sophisticated way is to create your own stereotypes. So let's stay at the current sensor. Let's say um, I just release this image. Sorry, I say none. Okay, so I switch back to the default appearance of such an element. And now I say I want to create my own stereotype. Okay, so we open settings, UML types. Here I say I want to create a new stereotype. I call it, let's say, um, current sensor. Let's say the base class uh, is a node. Here we have the node. Okay. And here I can say I want to assign this element a certain image. Here we need an extended meta file as graphics format. So I select the current sensor again. Open it. Okay. Save. Okay. Close. Now we have our own stereotype created. So 
now I can open my element, the one I um, created, say properties. I select stereotype current sensor. Okay. And now this element becomes a current sensor as we wanted it to have. So this is how we create and use our own stereotype. Maybe you recognized one thing. Um, if we create our own stereotypes, we lose all the element attributes. So if you, for example, open such an element here, you will see that all of these elements have some special attributes um, as they are SCAM elements. And if we create our own element with our own stereotype, we don't have these elements anymore. So what we can do to uh, to keep these elements is um, we can um, again use some SCAM component, place it in here. Okay. I call it um, SCAM element. Okay, that's it. Okay. And here, unfortunately, version 0.4.0 has a little bug. So, what I want to show you is I want to open this one, this element. And I would like to have my SCAM tagged values here, but unfortunately we don't see them. This is because when we place this single element here, we lose our stereotype. So we manually have to re-enter the stereotype, which is general SCAM element, uh, component. Okay, we save it. Okay. And if we open it now, we see we have our elements again. So this is a little bug in version 0 0.4.0. .0. I will fix this in the next release. Okay. Um, now as we have this element here, we can use the generalization relation, which is here. And we say that the current sensor generalizes a SCAM element. Here we have the relation. We don't want to see this element anymore here. I just delete it from the diagram. Remember, it's not deleted from the model, just from the diagram. Okay. And if I open my current sensor now, here you see in the tagged values, we have inherited these attributes we wanted to see. Okay, and this is the way how you can create your own elements in the way you want.